Hello and welcome to my wire accumulator gate tutorial. Yeah, you're going to find it in the wire tab. Uh, then you go to gate time, and it's the top one right here, accumulator. So spawn that, and we'll have a look. We've got A. This is basically your one and only input. It's the rate at which it accumulates. It can be positive or negative. If it's positive, the accumulator will go up. It's currently at zero. If it's negative, it'll go down. It can go past. It can go into negative numbers, and these can be any number you want. It'll just be faster or slower. You've got hold. While this input is a one, uh, the A input will have no effect. The accumulator will just stay at its current value, and reset will reset the accumulator to zero. So we're just gonna get a couple of things going. So we can see this, we're just going to get a screen to see the output. Uh, that screen's flawed, so it won't show all the uh, nasty decimals. And we're going to need a few buttons that are going to not toggle. They're just going to go between 0 and 1. We're going to need a stop, uh, a clear. Uh, we're going to need an up button, which is here. And we're also going to need a down button, but this one is going to go between 0 and minus 1. We are also going to need a gate arithmetic add, and then we're going to wire it up like this. So the screen accumulator A is going to go to the add, uh, then the hold that's just going to the stop button and reset. It's going to the clear button. I'm just going to change that stop button to toggle between zero and one because that would make more sense. So that now toggles. And we're also going to need to wire up these. Just add the two buttons together. So as you can see, it's currently zero. Press one. That's zero. Add one to give one there. So that's accumulating at a rate of one. And it's going up as you can see. We stop. It's no longer going up. We do that. This is zero plus minus one, which is minus one. Input minus one to there. It's going down. If we hold it, we can press that. As you can see, it's not changing, not going anywhere. We can reset it even while hold is done. We can go down into minus numbers. We can reset back to zero. We can change these. So if we make this up button go between five and zero, as you can see, it's going up faster than it was. And then you can also do that with negative numbers. So that's just a quick overview of the accumulator gate. It's pretty useful for things like using hydraulics like elevators or lifts and cranes, that sort of thing. So go and see what you can build with it.